Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where a sovereign citizen was pulled over because, well, his plates weren't exactly legitimate. Well, go figure on that, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Lower all your windows, please. Lower all your windows. Lower all your windows. This is the Brown Sheriff's Office. Lower all your windows all the way down. What is this? Uh, it's just put uh, Bellevue Park. We're at Bellevue Park. I don't have an exact address on a green Ford four door. Uh, no Florida tag. And uh, drivers don't cooperate. We got a couple of here. Lower all your windows! Driver, lower all your windows. Lower all your windows. You have the window breaker? Yep. We got a shield? Yeah, no, I don't have a shield. We need a shield. Driver, this is the Broward Sheriff's Office. Please lower all your windows. Lower all your windows. His window's cracked. It's cracked. Well, I can't see inside. Yeah. Driver, lower all your windows. Lower all your windows. Place your hands out the windows. Put your hands out the window. Both hands. Both hands. Keep both hands out the window. No, not without his hands. Put your hands out the window so we can approach and talk to you. Put both your hands out the window so you, we can come and talk to you. Keep your hands out. Keep your hands out. Come out. Keep, Keep your up. hands up. Okay, so go back, 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 back. Hey, if you if you can if you can get if you can get front windshield as soon as fucking doors locked. Yeah, I'm gonna smash the window. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to the window. I got it, I got it in my pocket, but someone needs to someone. Not a good idea. Okay. Put your hands out the window! This is the Brown Sheriff's Office! Listen, we, we just want talk to talk like to you. We can't talk like this. Yeah, do you have guns on you? You do or you don't? Yeah, we don't know that, exactly. So keep your hands out so we can come talk to you. We're gonna be here all day, we're gonna smash your windows if you don't comply. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, he doesn't comply and he ends up getting a visit from Safe Life Repair, Safe Life Replace. So let's continue on, shall we, and uh, witness what other uh, oddities this moron has with him. Yes. Listen, lower your windows and put your hands out the windows for me. Lower your windows. I understand what you're saying. I need you to comply with my commands. Lower all your windows. All right, now put your hands out the window. Put your hands out the windows. Both hands. And keep them out the window. Both hands. This is the Broward Sheriff's Office. I will show you yours once I make contact with you. Listen, you need to comply with my commands. You're not complying, that's why the gun's out. Yes, you do. Yeah, you're not a foreigner, you're an American citizen trying to pretend to be something he's not. But even if you were uh, from another country, you still have to obey the laws of the country in which you are in because, well, they'll still throw you in jail if you uh, step across the line. 
someone needs to get uh, get a uh, lethal coverage. And again, I'll smash the window and we'll try to yank him out. Place your hands out the window. Listen, I don't want to mess up your car, but if you don't listen, we're going to have to break all your windows. I don't want to do that. Hey, wait, wait. Lucy can get an eye. Lucy! Hey, verify his hands are on the steering wheel. Alright, that didn't work. You can't see. Can you just keep him there for us, please? Just keep him right there. Just keep him right there. You just want to make sure you don't have guns. Stop. Re don't I'm reach anywhere. I'm not letting you open my, my conveyance. If there was any doubt in your mind that this guy was not a uh, soft hard, well, this smooth brain saying conveyance, well, pretty much just put the final nail in the coffin for that. And it is an argument that really doesn't work in a court of law to begin with. So let's carry on, shall we? I understand that. I'm not letting you open my conveyance. Okay. Who are you? This is the Broward Sheriff's Office. Listen, no, look at how do you have your license with you? Me. Do you have your license with you? I'm a foreign national. Are you? <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> are, are, are you able to unlock your door for me, please? I'm not unlocking my door. Is this I your information? And here we go. We've got a more soft tard right here, as you can see from the flags on this paper and even the uh, fez right there in the top left hand corner. Man, this guy is going all out with the costume party, isn't he? And you are being recorded. Okay. I fear for my life. Okay. I fear for my life right now. The law is on my conveyance. Okay. You're being stopped because your tag is not a valid Florida license plate. I'm not or any license in commerce. Plate. I'm a foreign national. That is a very piss poor legal argument right there to begin with, my smooth brain, more sovereign citizen friend. Uh, if the, if you're not driving in commerce, well, that's fine uh, because most people who drive are not driving in commerce. Which brings me to another point. Florida, like many states, does make a distinction between commercial and non-commercial driver's licenses. So the legal argument kind of tanks right there. When you look into the proper state website, you douchebag. I gave you my identification. Your name's not in it. I gave you my identification. You want my um, information? Do you have a license? You want my information. Do you have a license the, issued in any of the right 50 states in the United States? Something that has your name on it. Your I name on just it. gave you my identification that has my name on it. It has my appellation on it. There is no naming here. It's a, the one I just gave you, man. Listen, you need to unlock this door we're going to break this window. You need to unlock this door or we're going to break I'm this window. I'm giving you my information. I'm going to tell you one more time. None of that information is valid. You're, you're violating international law right now. I'm going to tell you one more time. You're violating international law, man. This is the last time I'm going to tell you. You're violating Unlock violating the door or we're going to break the window. Break the window. Let me guess what this international law that you uh, claim they're breaking is. Is it the Treaty of Peace and Friendship or is it... Well, let me guess another one. The Geneva Convention. Yeah, that's another one that I heard recently that uh, supposedly people are breaking in these situations. But still, that governs the rules of war, not traffic stops. You're violating the national law. We're going to... Listen. Unlock the door. This is your last chance. This is your last chance to unlock the door. I'm giving you my I know. information. I know. Understand... Listen. We need a we need a license or some sort of state ID. I'm not operating in commerce for to okay. give you a license. I'm not operating in commerce. Okay, do you a have a passport? Is for commercial do you have a passport? I don't I don't have a passport. I have an international identification I just gave you. Issued under who? The 1508 states that that's a lawful identification document. All right. One more chance. I don't want to break your window. Safe like replace. Step back. Step out of the car. Out of the car. Out of the car. Let's go. Put your hands behind your back. Yo, yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. Your other hand. Your other hand. Give us your other hand. Is that so hard? Why, why, did you, why do we have to go through that, bro? 
You could have easily just you could, complied. You could have just given us your information yeah. and that's it. None of this would have happened. And of course, here it is, the more soft hard license plate that started this whole thing. But still, there is much more to come. I mean, this guy was loaded up in this car with some other goodies. That really shows that this guy is nothing more than a criminal to begin with. So let's continue on, shall we? Smells like 57 in the car. A what? It smells like weed in the car, and he's got a he's got a badge thing in there. I don't know what that is. You said bad? Yeah, it's bad. It's not Where? Let me see. That's a deputy badge. That's what I was talking about. I was wondering your badge. Yeah, he's a US citizen. I found him. And even if he's not, he's still going to follow the rules. Yeah. Weird out there. Hey, Monday, just go ahead and kill it just in case the engine starts coming in. Yeah. Number 10, 10, 12, Bravo 2. Can you copy on the Channel 35 for attention? Uh, I'm on both. Uh, yeah, uh, Great seal. Channel 30. What do you use for American money? This is, I think he plays the lottery. Is that a laptop channel? The Garth? He was uh, arrested and he was put on trial and, well, he certainly did test his uh, supposed legal arguments in a court. He just pled guilty and went on from there and, uh, well, he's been arrested uh, several times for misdemeanor charges and, uh, and he continues on with his criminal career and I'm sure he's going to get arrested a few more times before, well, they get tired of his sorry ass and lock him up for many many years to come so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?